All right, we're going to touch on something here where people, players get in their own head and it makes them look selfish. Uh, I don't believe this player is selfish, but it makes he makes himself look like he is. Here's number four going down the ice, makes it a great individual effort, goes wide, cuts to the net, puts it to his buddy there, his centerman, who has a great scoring chance in a 2-1 game. And uh, watch what he does. Shakes it off. Shakes it off. Missed a great chance. He's upset with himself. Right now, he's internalizing what he did. He's internalizing what he did. He's frustrated. But in being frustrated, he does not ever acknowledge the guy who made the play to set him up. That's not a good look. So mindset matters here. Mindset matters. You get outside of yourself. Don't go internal. Go external. Acknowledge your teammate. Acknowledge the play. Don't think about how you missed it. Acknowledge the play that made it happen. It works well for both of you. Cheers. I want to expand on what's happening there from a mindset perspective. As an athlete, we want to stay present. No matter what sport you're doing, hockey specifically, we play our best when we are lost in the moment. So we're not thinking of the past, we're not projecting to the future, but we're in what a lot of people have coined the, the flow state. It's just happening, it seems automatic, and we're not thinking. Overthinking is a classic response and a classic performance detractor for numerous athletes, and that shows up in different ways. Now, when you're playing a team sport, we need to be aware of the other people on the ice. And when we are aware of them, it actually helps us. Because in the example on this video here, you can see there was almost no emotional response to him missing that really great A scoring chance in a key point of the game. That tells me a lot about this player, that he's probably pretty emotional level. He doesn't have a lot of peaks and valleys. Um, he didn't slam his stick. You know, there is no body language that would give you an indication. But you could tell, or at least I think I could tell by the way he responded there, that he was having a conversation with himself. He wasn't making any type of eye contact with any of his players on the team. He... You know, he was internalizing what had just happened. So that in in his own way is thinking about the past. He's lost in what just happened and he's not focusing on the present, which could have been a natural escape for that could have been acknowledging his teammate, right? Being external, being aware of what is going on around you, that we're in a team sport, that we're in this environment that is actually going to help me as an individual. And it's also going to help my line mate as an individual. It's going to help us together. So it's a common, common mistake for individuals to go inside when things haven't gone well or when they made a mistake, whatever the case may be. It actually showed up on a coaching call again last, last week with this uh, 17-year-old female ice hockey player when I was asking her about to build her self-awareness and what happens to her, like what happens to her emotional state and what happens to how she responds when things aren't going well. And one of the things she picked up on was, well, after a bad shift or I make a mistake and I go on the bench, I'm really quiet. I do not talk to my teammates. I'm not vocal. Whereas if things are rolling and I'm feeling good, I'm always a very vocal player. So that's a great, great insight by her. And, it's, and like I said, there's a parallel for lots of people in the game today that this is a natural response for them. If that is what you do, then your, your solution to that is to be intentional about being vocal. Right? That keeps you out of your own head. It keeps you uh, having your head between your own legs, feeling sorry for yourself, and you can focus on those around you. It's a massive benefit of playing a team sport that your teammates matter. So instead of feeling sorry for yourself and what just happened, focus on your teammates, stand up, congratulate, cheer, whatever the case may be. It keeps you present, keeps you out of your own head, keeps you focused on the next thing, not what the last thing was. So best of luck out there. If you're an overthinker, try to do that. Don't be internal. Go external. Play hard, guys. Keep your head up. Cheers.